probably one of the best experiences I've had in Bali. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Good morning. Good morning! We have just woken up and we are staying at Remote Work Villas in Ubud in Bali. So what we're doing here is kind of like a co-living, co-working kind of community yeah. of entrepreneurs and digital nomads who get together, share ideas, share lifestyles and we're going to be staying here for about a week while yeah. we work on our business and work ourselves. on ourselves. We're not going to give you the full lowdown, we'll let Yakeem give you all the information that you need about Remote Work Villas, but for now, we're going to enjoy our coffee and enjoy this view. How's your morning coffee? I just feel so relaxed. I love it here. Like, can you hear that? It's just nature. It just, oh, I just feel zen. <laughs> <laughs> Ubud is a very good place for something like this. Yeah. Even in rainy season, it's still so amazing. It yeah. really is. It's so nice around this part. And we're not in the heart of Ubud either. We're north. basically in Tagalalang. Uh, north of Tagalalang. North of Tagalalang, which is where the rice fields that you probably know are. Um, but it's way more, well, I guess, remote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, the weather's not so bad. It's a bit cloudy today, but it's typically been raining around the afternoon, so it's good to take the time to enjoy the morning while it's dry, enjoy our coffee, and then enjoy we'll get- Enjoy the nature sounds, because it's so nice. And then we'll get started with our work very soon. As you can see already, we've had an incredible start to the day so far. We started with a workout this morning, which was led by one of the other guys who's staying here, Marcos. What's quite amazing about this kind of co-living, co-habit space is everyone has different unique skills that they can bring to a wider group. And everyone in this particular group is really open to sharing those skills with the others. And a few other people have offered to help out with other different things. But yeah, we started the day with one of Marcus's amazing workouts. And then we had some much needed breakfast before Danielle and I started our work day where we ticked off some really important things that we needed to before an incredible activity that we're gonna be doing later today. We're really excited for this. Joachim has arranged something quite unique and even being in Bali for so long ourselves, we haven't done anything quite like this. So we're really looking forward to sharing that with you. And we'll give you a villa tour pretty soon because this place is amazing. It looks really nice. It's really set up to kind of get a productive side out of you, connect with nature a little bit as well. So we'll show you that. And we're gonna get Joachim to tell you a little bit about Remote Work Villas and what his vision is. We've decided to take a little work break and I think it's time to show you the amazing villa we're staying in. So let's start with our room. We really love it here. It's so comfy and at night we can just hear the sounds of nature which literally is amazing and gets you right to sleep. Now that we've seen our room, we want to show you this beautiful villa. There's nine of us living here, so it's not perfectly tidy, but it's so clean considering. These guys are having some lunch. <laughs> this is our beautiful pool area. It's so nice and relaxing. 
you have the water fountains which make it super super nice and the water is actually pretty cool like considering most pools in Bali are quite warm this one's actually quite cold and it's so refreshing now I'm going to take you into the living room and show you some of the guys that are working and then we'll head into the kitchen got some more people hard at work here Here's the other half of Couples Quest. <laughs> I'm going to take you to the kitchen and show you uh, the staff and how amazing they are because they're so good at making the most delicious food and they're so, so nice as well. Jen. The day we got here, the owner of Remote Work Villas actually organised a massage for us, which, oh, it was so relaxing. But this outdoor area is bliss. I literally have no other words to say about this because it's so beautiful out here. You get the most beautiful views and we just love it. have to excuse some of the toys down here. <laughs> it's pretty cool that there's actually a, a family living in these villas as well. There's a baby here, I think under two years old? Under one years old. Under one year old, that's <laughs> close. <laughs> I was still right. And um, it's been really good for Danielle and I to see that. Having been together for like eight years now, we've spoken about having a family and we love our life on the road so much. That's not something that we would want to stop to have a family and we've never met someone who's traveled while raising children before. So that's been really amazing for us to see. I hope you enjoy seeing the villa a little more and seeing some of the people working here. And now we're gonna hand you over to Jakeem, who's gonna give you all the information on how amazing Remote Work Villas is. Hey guys, Joaquim Miro here from Remote Work Villas. We're here in the March 2024 edition of Remote Work Villas in Northern Ubud in tropical Bali. There's 11 people living and working together here with me and we're almost two weeks in. It's been amazing. For those of you who aren't familiar with the concept, Remote Work Villas is the community for entrepreneurs, remote workers, builders, artists, creators, everyone who is able to live a location independent lifestyle by working remotely. And we bring together these high potential individuals that want to connect more deeply and to grow professionally, to live in these wonderful places like this in the world where the views are so inspiring and the other people that you're around also are so inspiring that it allowed us to create and co-create experiences that are world-class in fully serviced villas of this type. So I've been traveling the world for the last seven years with my fiance. And during that time, we've tried every single type of lifestyle that you can imagine. In the beginning, we were living on much lower budgets, so it was more like couch surfing and hostels and you know, backpacker travel. And at the beginning, we were starting our first businesses. And once those started going better, we slowly evolved towards what would be considered, you know, higher lifestyle living, such as living in nicer Airbnbs or in top hotels and resorts. And the whole time, I started feeling this call for community and I would meet amazing people all the time when you're traveling you're continuously meeting awesome people as I'm sure you know if you've been on the road and if you haven't well once you do go you'll, you'll see that happen you see them and then they come in and out of your life all the time and after a while that starts taking a toll and so we tried because of that doing also co-living and even there we would see that it wasn't exactly our tribe something else that would happen all the time when we were traveling is we'd get offers for for example going to see this temple or going on this adventure or going paragliding here or doing all these amazing adventures and we found that it was very difficult to say no so you'd have this continuous FOMO and have to choose between either developing your business or having a fun lifestyle. Over time, this also takes a toll. And 
this wasn't until about a year ago when I came together with three other couples to live in this incredible penthouse in Mexico that it all became super clear to me. High-end co-living. Bring together awesome, inspired people to live together that also have this ambition of building their business, of developing themselves, of connecting deeply with others, all the while having a good work-life balance and going to do adventures all around the world. And so that's how Remote Work Villas started. That's where we're at. I really hope that you'll be able to come and live in these beautiful villas. We have a pretty extensive vetting process to make sure that every person that comes has a good vibe, is coming with the right intentions, and wants to develop and grow this community together towards a completely new lifestyle and way of living that I hope you will also be able to join. We finished off our work this morning and in classic other rainy season fashion, it has become a little bit rainy, a lot rainy. Uh, so we've just come to a nearby local's house and he's going to show us this amazing ritual that they do and he's going to take us to the water temple as well. We call them taking the two sides of the coin. Mm -hmm. what they, the black salmon and the white salmon, they can send black magic, they can cure black magic. Mm -hmm. But the white one is only healing. Mm -hmm. That's the difference of shaman and dummy. In here we come from the white shaman itself. Okay? Only to people whenever they come a healing. Another <laughs> one? You look so good. Thank you. I'm so happy to be wearing this. I said to the girls who dress me, every time I see Balinese women in these clothes, they look so beautiful and I can't believe I'm wearing it. It's so nice. I love it. What we're doing here and what's been explained to us is that we're going to go to a water temple and this water temple is built in around the 11th century? Yeah. 11th century? Yeah. Um, about a thousand years ago and it's by the guide's ancestors and we're going to make offerings to our ancestors today and then we're going to go to the water temple and we're going to try and have a spiritual connection and a spiritual moment with our ancestors. Yeah, Maddie has been so, so welcoming and so nice to explain all the different processes and different beliefs and ceremonies so we're excited to take you with us. Classic Obud. <laughs> we're now on our way to the actual water temple where we're going to do uh, give out offerings and do the blessings and I guess just find out what else this sort of entails. Um, it's all tiny little bit mysterious at the minute which is kind of cool in itself but um, yeah it's been really nice. and wow that was a really unique experience and something personally I've never experienced before in all the positive ways it made me really really emotional and I cried a lot <laughs> it actually makes me emotional thinking about it on the left side was the blessing water and on the right side is the healing water and our guide Made took us through all the different ways to do it, what you would do, questions to ask, thoughts to have, things that you know mean a lot to you. And so 
sort of ask questions to your ancestors and a way that you can connect with them. It was a really like, oh, it's, I can't describe it very much because it's hard to describe unless you've been through something similar, but Made guided us through meditation afterwards and sort of like an ancestral chanting and, and welcoming of anyone who was there and would come through and speak to you and he would relay those words to you and if they connect to you, they connect. If they don't, they don't. But yeah, the whole experience was honestly so amazing and whew, probably one of the best experiences I've had in Bali. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Whew. Yeah, that was probably one of the best experiences I've had in Bali. That was really, really amazing. So if you do come here and you meet one of the locals and you're able to do a ceremony like that, do it. It's amazing. <laughs> I just feel so relaxed. I love it here.